Residents on the north side say their grocery store is set to close in the coming months. And they're concerned that that will leave them in a food desert. Leah Linshai joins us with what's next for that piece of real estate. Leah? Hi, Eric and Michelle. Well, this lease for Piers over on North Sherman Avenue is set to end in just the next few months. And that's a scary thought for residents over here who might not have a place to get their groceries that's nearby. But uh, another local store is looking at the space to move in. Northside residents have spent their Saturdays grocery shopping at Pierce's since it opened in this then food desert a decade ago. It became apparent we needed help here in terms of food access and Pierce's came from Baraboo, but that's the thing, they're from Baraboo. Now they're planning for Pierce's closure, coming likely this summer, according to members of the Northside Planning Council. It's a satellite from all of their other central stores, and so I think they came to the conclusion that after 10 years it just wasn't you know, it wasn't quite the right fit for their company. We've been uh, looking for a uh, location for a third store since our uh, co-op owners approved it in August of 2014. First approached by the Planning Council, the Willie Street Co-op is now taking a serious look at the Pierce's property with plans to open a store there. The co-op, normally focused on organic and all-natural products, would also offer cheaper, more conventional products to meet the needs of residents there. And we try to have the store reflect the neighborhood somewhat um, to really respond to the needs of the specific neighborhood. So if we open it really north, uh, we would do the same thing there. If we get to have a co-op where, you know, our residents yeah. can join and have a voice, I think it could be a really powerful partnership for us. Northsiders say the grocery store move could be a neighborhood game changer. So I think it's a really tremendous opportunity for this community to really shape its food access. Now, Willie Street hasn't signed a lease yet, so the details are really still being worked out on the timeline. But the plan is to get moved in here as soon as possible, possibly by the summer, Erica Michelle. All right, Leah Lynch reporting live for us tonight from the north side. Leah, thank you.